Hi everyone, this is Hannah. I hope you are well. I am doing week 36 of Margaret Miller collage challenge today. And the prompt today is um, which animals and insect insects have distinct uh, voices, so they have distinct sounds. And what I've done is I've prepped the page with a lovely image from an old Arizona highways that I have bought some months ago and always keep wanting to collage with it and I never do and what I thought I would do is I prepared this time most of the elements that I want to use um, it won't be an elaborate collage um, and I just had this idea um, when I was a child I have a vague memory of having a sticker book um, which was something to do with the story of the Noah's Ark. So you would get stickers of animals and stick them on to the page. So those were like the animals from the story. So I've imagined doing something similar today. So it would be a pretty simple collage. I have a cricket here because that was the first insect that I thought of when I thought um, an insect that has a distinct sound. Um, a little baby sheep. I cut out a horsey there. And a colibri because I figured out I'm missing a bird for this blue sky here. Um, so I'll just start sticking them. And those are most of my elements. I have one or two little embellishments just so it's not that plain. So this should be a fairly quick video today. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are doing something interesting or relaxing at least while you're watching this video. I have some minutes before my booking in the laundry room so I've decided to use them this way oh yes I wanted to show you the book where I got this horse and this sheep from I've also been toying with the idea before I figured out what I want to do to involve these um, chickens as well Chicks. but instead I decided for the storyline that I told you and I got them from this book um, it's Der Junge Agronom and this book and another one bear with me I'm just gonna show you this and then lay the camera down which means the masters of agronomy don't, yeah, um, these two with some uh, dictionary pages I got from my mother in a package she recently sent me when she figured out that's how I would use them. So she had some old books. My mother is a librarian. And she let me use them. So that's where I got these two lovely images. So let's start with them since they're already on a page. I'm just going to stick them, glue them down, and be on my merry way. I hope you're having a nice weekend, if I haven't said that already. Because I'm having a lovely one, I went to the lake today, found some blueberries, and biked around the lake was really nice. So what I was thinking is to highlight this cricket a little bit by giving it a background. So I'm going to stick this little piece of paper that has a doodle on the back of it. And it was part of a pen pal Happy Mail I once got. So I just tore down a little piece of it. Okay. And then this cricket who is hiding in the grass. Now I'm aware of the fact that 
these necessarily these animals would not necessarily be hanging out together this intimately. But hey, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and then, in order to just add a little bit more interest to the page, I took this idea that I saw once on another YouTuber's video, um, and I've talked about her a lot, so um, obviously I watch her a lot, and that's Alicia from Adventure Denali. And from her, I took this idea of gluing a piece of the sky over the already existing clouds and well, sky. And it just adds a little bit more interest to the entire page, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I just figure out what I wanna do. Yeah. With the little Calibri who makes an interesting sound when pecking on the wood, right? Or whatever. <laughs> I've just figured out that this is my mistake, that I probably thought of a different word, um, different bird. Did I? Yeah, woodpecker. Well, I guess since I'm already done, I might add um, another bird or two, something in the sky as well. Okay, so I'm back, and since I have this little eye print device, I'm not sure what the name of it is which is basically an inkless little printer, so um, I got it from my sister as a gift. I think it was a birthday gift and I just went online and found a um, photo of an actual woodpecker <laughs> because I felt a bit silly. Um, so I was actually also toying with the idea of adding a branch somewhere as well in the photo, like cutting it out of a magazine. But I couldn't find it quickly and I wanted to finish the collage. So I'm just gonna add this here and edit it somewhere in the video. There. So that is actually the final result. So these three images have been printed with the help of my sister's sponsorship. <laughs> okay, have a lovely day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!